Hello there, this is NG Stalagmite with a private tutorial for Cat Lover 8976. Um, it's not private, you know, whoever, you can watch it, I don't care. Um, basically, we're going to be drawing a dragon's head, and we're going to have it turn. So what you want to do, you want to start off making a square, okay? Obviously, hopefully you can pause this anytime you want, and just kind of... Obviously, if you got any questions, Cat Lover, then just uh, come to me, and I'll see what I can do. Okay, so basically, we don't really need much more than this. This is your head. Um, you can attach it to a body later. The head doesn't have to be connected directly to the body. Um, you worry about that another time. Um, also, I'm going to draw myself in some nostrils. Yayness for nostrils. And to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and... I mean, basically, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Nothing special, nothing spectacular, just some nostrils. And it is difficult for some reason. I don't, I don't know why it's so difficult to make some frickin' nostrils. Okay. And obviously you want to change the nostril shape accordingly. Let's have a look what we got so far. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and change the project settings. Uh, I'm going to have this a lot bigger so you can see it better when it's rendered. Okay, there we go. Okay, you should be able to see that. That's kind of your dragon's head, and we can even go ahead and uh, just add a little crease in there to show there's a bit of depth in the nostril. Um, now you see, Cat Lover, this is the thing. Um, your Falco is kind of one-sided, so what you would normally see is basically that and you'd have an eye just here looking this way. Um, and it, you can't really manipulate it from that point. I mean, you can, it'll just take so long. It's better just to have, unless absolutely essential to your script of having it, um, looking it at that one angle. Ideally, you just want to have it um, as unangled as possible. I mean, in that respect. Sorry, I'm not really making much sense. I'm trying to do this in like 50 seconds, so... Um, okay, so you should have something that looks just like that. That's fine for me. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, as you can see. Okay, now you want to draw yourself some eyes. You just make a new layer. Call it something inventive, like eyes. There we go. Make sure you've called your face layer as well. Make sure you've called that face. Okay, now the eyes aren't going to be anything spectacular. Okay, they're just quick zoop, eyes. And you could even uh, screw it. I'm going to put a pupil in there just because I can. And stick your iris, that pupil in there. Sorry, I meant iris before. Now I'm sticking a pupil in there. Okay, that's one eye. And basically, as you probably see, uh, if it's looking more that way, um, this eye wants to be smaller. Obviously, when he turns around, that eye is going to get bigger, and that eye is going to get eventually smaller. Okay? And you can start off having these eyes kind of touching. Okay? <clears throat> now, you're going to go ahead and go to frame 1. Oh, no, sorry. We need to add some ears as well. Dragons can't go without ears. Well, they can go. They just uh, won't be able to hear. Shut up now. Okay, now, obviously, this is just practice, uh, cat lover. This isn't, you know, you're not supposed to take this too seriously. Um, just a bit of fun, just a bit of experimentation. That's what you want to be doing, experimenting with Anime Studio. That's how I, uh, that's how I've gotten to know Anime Studio so well. I mean, not that I can show for it, because I haven't got any other... I talk too much. Okay, so, from this point, you should have... You want to go ahead and zoom out a little bit so that you got some, some space to change your head. Okay, you should have this for your dragon, okay? Could be more like a dog, but don't worry. You've got the basic shape of a dragon there. Okay, what we're going to do is select all points on this and go to frame 1, okay? Now, what you're going to do is quite hard at first, okay? It's about experimenting. Get your first nostril and... Uh, by frame one, we're going to have this character looking directly at us through the screen, okay? So, this is about where this top of the head should stay, because it's his neck and his head isn't moving, it's his snout that's moving around. So, 
where would his nostrils be? It'd be about there. So you can just close in. And, I mean, this can all be slightly edited later. Uh, at this point, you want to kind of just make the, the nostrils look like they're, you know, coming forwards a bit. What they would look like directly in front. Just by manipulating these lines. You don't want to add more lines or anything like that. You just want to make with what you have animate with what you have. Now don't forget if you're looking something straight on it's symmetrical so this needs to basically be the same size and shape as this one. So just try and pansy that about a bit. Don't really pansy about, it's not really a correct term. A noun or something perhaps. Shut up. That's a good idea. Shut up. Why didn't I think of that? Okay so your little, you see your nostrils, they're kind of working at there. Okay, now you're gonna bring uh, this around a bit and uh, it's so hard to explain. Okay, I think that would probably work. Okay, so you kind of see where your snout would come out here. And this is your chin. Okay, so that's your cheeks here, and that's your chin. And we can go ahead onto the eyes layer now and grab your eyes, bring them left. Oh dear, something just went weird there. Don't know if you heard that. And make the eyes bigger. Uh, only one needs to be the same size, don't forget. You didn't change the size of this nostril, so you don't need to change the size of this eye. And you can still move everything a little bit more left. Make sure everything's, you know, moved nice and symmetrically. Make it as symmetrical as possible. And don't forget your little ears. They should turn too. What you can do is obviously this ear belongs down here now. Uh, whereas it did before. So you probably just... And the left side of the head hasn't really changed that much. Okay. There we go. Now, you should have up to frame one something that looks like. Hold on, let me open a separate layer. You don't need to do this. I'm just opening a separate layer so you can see it more clearly. You should have something that looks like this. There we go. You see? That's a turnaround of a head. And it works really well. You see I've used these basic shapes. Now I use these basic shapes for a reason. I open up a square and add a couple more points. Do you know how easy it is just to manipulate two or three points instead of getting the entire dragon's head, the thousands of points you'd use for a pen tool, and then individually moving them about like that? It just really wouldn't work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and export this, and you can just check out the, uh, the ending file. Okay, so now all I've done is I've just rendered it, and this is it, okay? This is what you get. Okay, that's kind of rubbish. I'll try and loop it. There we go. Okay, you can see it kind of works. Also, obviously, you can add additional mouths on later. Um, the mouth would be in a separate layer, being manipulated differently um, kind of obviously the mouth will be over here and you kind of change it by points um, and make it end up coming over to about here okay okay I hope this has helped you somewhat cat lover 8976 groovy name by the way and Falco will never die rock on Falco will never die we love Falco Look at her licking her lips. Dreams of dragons coming true. Look at her flying in the sky like a little dragon.